And we have continuing of coverage of that collapse and how it could actually have an impact on the economy. That's right. And WENY's Alexandra Dern spoke to an economics professor at Elmira College about the negative effects of this collapse. Alexandra. Yeah, Renata, Nick, the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore is only about four hours away from us right here on the Twin Tiers. As rec rescuers, you know, they are continuing to search for those people who may have been, you know, working or driving across that bridge. There are concerns about how this collapse is going to impact business and transportation, not just for the people of Baltimore, but the whole country. An economics professor at EC tells me the Baltimore port is the ninth busiest for handling foreign cargo and the number one bus busiest for U.S imports and exports of cars and light trucks. And this is going to be not just regionally, but kind of spread out nationally, potentially could be the automobile industry. Just number one in terms of delays, uh, in terms of, you know, uh, customers getting cars uh, on time. Uh, there may be a slight uptick in prices um, as well. Dr. Haver says she predicts these impacts will affect us temporarily, and the extent of the economic impact really depends on how other ports on the East Coast can absorb that cargo. Renata, Nick. Alexander, thank you.